Hello, my name is Hugo Gonzalez. This is my 3D printer, App Plus, and this is my new invention, an end of filament alarm. I have another video in Spanish, so if you understand Spanish, I recommend you watching the Spanish video. Here I'm going to explain why I did my invention and what is it for. Well, when you have a filament spool, which is um, and then you have very little filament, very little material. Uh, maybe you want to print a piece that uh, needs more material than the one is left. The software usually tells you how much material would you need to print your piece. But anyway, if you still have some filament in the spool, maybe it's not enough, but don't use it would be a waste of material. So I recommend you to have a new filament spool prepared, but you have an option. When the filament, the old filament runs out, you can take the new filament and put it while the printer is still printing. How can you do that? You have to be very careful because once the material runs out, if the filament runs out, if you don't immediately change the filament, then the printer will continue printing. It has no mechanism to detect the end of the filament. So you may get something like this. The printer continues printer, printing on the air without material. So your piece um, is unfinished so it's a waste of material a waste of time and you don't want to to get something like this so you can change the filament while it's printing but you need to know when exactly the filament runs out because otherwise you are going to get something like this and you don't want that so the problem is that maybe printing a piece like this could take several hours maybe two hours, I don't know, maybe all the kind of pieces could be five hours. So you don't want to be there all the time waiting to the um, filament to run out. So my invention is an alarm, a detector of the end of the filament. How? Well, I have put here a crocodile clip which is touching a metal plate and I have here a buzzer, a switch and batteries. Two batteries of 1.5 volts goes to the buzzer, goes to the switch, the, to the crocodile clip, to the metal plate and to the batteries again. So when the circuit is closed it makes a sound, it's like an alarm, it's like this. Okay, so if you put the filament on the crocodile clip, the circuit is open and then it will not sound. Is um, To use it, you have to put the filament through the guide and the crocodile clip and uh, in, the other, in the other guide and then the filament will print, will, will, will move and the crocodile clip uh, won't touch the metal plate. So the thing is that the printer will print as usual but when it runs out the filament will let the crocodile clip to touch the metal plate and then it will sound. So you will know exactly the same moment when the filament runs out and you have to put the new spool. But you still have time to um, change the, the, the filament spool because you have enough material from the guide to the extrusion so uh, the printer takes some time to, to use that, that uh, material, that filament so you have time to change from the old spool, the empty spool to the new, new spool so you can take the new filament and put it again through the guide the crocodile clip and 
you can continue printing. Of course, you have to wait a bit more until the, the rest of the filament goes through the extrusion and it runs out completely. So in that exactly moment, you have to put the new filament through the hole of the extrusion and the printer will continue printing, take the new filament and it melts it so it continues printing and you can go go away and and don't care again. So when when you put the, the filament through the guide and the crocodile clip you have to turn on the circuit so when it runs out then you will I'm going to do it manually because it takes some time to the printer to, to, to print a, a piece but uh, the idea is this the printer will use the filament filament and when it runs out it will close the circuit and it will sound. so you can come here and then change the filament spool and continue printing so you have to put of course the the usual tube here to guide the the filament and i have designed it in a um, very stable way because it's it's like um, okay it's like um, exact match for the the tube so it doesn't move and it's more stable it's robust the filament can move through the 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 guide and the crocodile clip without problem and well this is my my invention i'm um, uh, I hope you, you you find it useful. I'm going to to give it the the design for free for personal use. But if you want to to use it for commercial purposes or you are uh, a company and are interested in this design, I I kindly ask you to to contact me, please, because this design is uh, uh, like an open source, but is only for personal use, not for commercial use. And I hope uh, you like this, this design and find it useful. Thank you very much for watching.